Oh, today I decided to inspect the um, air filter element in my uh, C180 uh, compressor, uh, Mercedes-Benz 2004. Um, I ordered this um, air filter element on eBay uh, earlier in December. It's taken a while to arrive, it just arrived a couple of days ago. It comes from Australia, so this is the details if you need to get one of these. Now these air filter elements are pretty expensive. Um, I think in New Zealand we can pay uh, close to, I think maybe up to 50 to maybe up to $100 New Zealand, maybe even over that. I don't believe this is a genuine um, OEM Mercedes part, but it's, um, it's equivalent anyway and it fits my budget. I think it cost me about $30 um, free shipping. Okay, T25 uh, tool to remove these holding down screws. Uh, they're captive, so you won't lose those. They actually held in there. I've, I've just loosened those off and just going to um, lift back the uh, cover and we'll see what's going on in here. Let's put this away. Take this off. Okay, let's put this down out here, out of the way. Yeah, so it's one of the little maintenance jobs I plan to do. And looking at it, wow, she doesn't look too tidy. I don't know when this was last changed. The last owner, or the, the original owner of this car, which is the last owner before myself, uh, he's had this car from new. Um, I think in recent years has been sort of doing a bit of the um, maintenance himself. Uh, maybe trying to save a little bit of money on the Mercedes-Benz dealership fees, costs. But I don't think he's replaced this. Maybe he was put off by the cost of the element. So I'm really pleased that I have actually opened this up. It just looks dusty as well. I'm going to give this a good wipe out. So. Okay, so you lift it up in the front here. This is a little bit squeezy. Okay, so this is just the locator slot for it. And it looks like the back here, the back actually slides into the housing. So lift it up and pull it out. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't look too good. Probably not too bad. Let's get a bit of light on there. Probably not too bad on the inside. Okay. So hopefully it's been doing its job. But certainly it's been capturing a bit of debris coming through, which looks like it's picked up all the way through here and uh, comes in through this front uh, opening here. Oh, I tell you what, I was just taking off undoing those Torx screws with my T25 and because it's a little bit of a short tool I was being careful you know but I dropped it okay I dropped it down there and one thing about these cars is that they've got so many it's so busy down there but oh my gosh how am I going to get that out so I got in there with my long handled magnet and my little LED light and she'd gone all the way right down, <laughs> right down in there. Oh dear, anyway, I fished it out. So that was saved, so a little bit of a lesson in there. Oh my goodness me, look down here, eh? Oh, this is pretty bad. Let's have a bit of a look here with the light. Yeah, okay, she. I guess I've seen worse. Looks like a little butterfly uh, got caught in there as well at some stage. Little butterfly there. This little tacker here. Yeah, little butterfly, uh, poor little thing. Got all the way through to there, okay. <laughs> little wasps and things. But yeah, I'm going to clean all this out. I've got some um, wet towels here that I'll carefully clean it out. And I'll get rid of all of that surface dust in there. 
and uh, we should then be able to fit the replacement filter uh, which is this one here Let's see if this comes out of the box uh, too easy with one hand Bear with me a moment Yeah. 